hello this is a very quick look at the new mobile m3 this is a budget friendly mobile and it's got a very large screen considering the low price it's a 5.5 inch screen on the bottom we've got speakers charging ports it's just a micro sd port around one side is the sim card and micro sd card slot on the top is a headphone jack and on the other side is power and volume buttons Around the back, you've got an 8 megapixel camera, there's five on the front, and you've got a decision to make. You can either have two SIM cards, so it can be dual SIM, or you can have a SIM card and a micro SD card, but you can't have two SIMs and the micro SD card. At the time of review, this was running Android 7, and it ran it very well. There's no additional bloatware on this. It's very, very slick. There's nothing like swipe to the left to get a news feed or anything like that. It's just very plain, simple Android, and it works very well. It does have the double tap to go to camera feature that you're finding on quite a lot of phones these days. And you've got a few options in the camera. You've got a beauty mode, panorama mode. You've also got various settings you can adjust, such as storing the location, changing exposure. It's nice to see manual settings are there if you want to have a little play with them. So as I said before, it's got eight megapixel rear camera, five megapixel front facing camera. The rear facing camera is okay. It's uh, maybe, maybe a little bit washed out compared to others. I've seen these aren't as vibrant as they are in real life, but it does an okay job. Video is also okay on the rear camera. It handles movement very well, so I move very quickly there. It doesn't cause the camera a problem. Again though, the colors, while they look pretty good, they're not quite as punchy as in real life. Where I did find a bit of an issue though was on the sound. The rear facing camera video didn't have a problem, but you'll hear in a second there's a strange clicking noise when I record using the front facing camera. So this is just a quick test of the front facing camera, let's see how it does with a change of light. Go outside, the screen's quite nice and big, I can see myself quite clearly, uh, yeah, not bad at all. Well, I tried this before and the sound was clicking away, click 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 very strange noise and the camera didn't really pick up my voice very well so I just want to do a second test and see if it's the same again seems to be coping very well with motion so it didn't seem as bad as on the second video and I've still not worked out what might be causing it so it's a bit of a disappointing result for the front facing camera the bottom speakers could be easily covered with your hand if you're playing in landscape mode and although it does play games like Asphalt 8 and kind of high-end games like Modern Combat, you will notice that they're not quite as silky smooth as you might like. So it's, it's okay, but it is dropping frames and I've seen this run a lot better across a range of devices. So if you are a gamer, this perhaps isn't going to be the phone for you. At least though, it does have a nice large screen. The 5.5 inch screen means that your hands don't get in the way of using on-screen controls. And as I say, the games are playable, they're just not as good looking as I've seen on a lot of other phones. Now, if you're not a gamer or a photographer, this phone could be the one for you because actually for consuming content, it's really good. The nice large screen looks great and it's fine for watching videos. It's actually quite nice and clear when you are listening to the video. And the screen is also very clear even in direct sunlight. So when you're out and about, you can whip out this phone, have a little look and see your messages, go on Facebook, Twitter, whatever else you're using. And so if you want a wallet-friendly day-to-day phone, this could be the one for you. If you want to find out more about this phone, I'll put a link in the description below. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.